wow, so this is interesting. I've been walking along this fence for a while and there is another sign at the uh, top end of it but I couldn't see exactly who it was by order by. No trespassing under order of United States Fish and Wildlife Service. I would not have expected that. A federally designated sensitive area. That's pretty cool. Well, except for the fact that it's sensitive. But hey, at least they know we're here. And we're back on San Timoteo Canyon Road with this no shoulder having bullshit. Ugh, sketchy as hell. Oh well, I only had to be on this road for like 1.2 miles. But man, stuff like this stresses me out. So, you know, <laughs> this is another one of those things like, I'm, I'm cool with doing it because I said I was gonna do it. You pee bottle, oh, that's a butt bottle. But you know, I never need to do this again. Basically, I'm only walking this to get to the next amount of, next number of trails, the uh, Gateway Ranch and Hernst Aki Preserve down Live Oak Canyon. So I should be getting to there. That turn in a little over a mile, which is good. I just realized that uh, there's a showcase stable right near the corner there. And uh, some friends of mine are there, which is fantastic. So hopefully I can stop in and top off my water because I think I'm going to be out pretty soon. Although I did liberate an orange or two. Oh no, I hear a train and it's going to beat me to the junction and I'll be stuck on this side of it until it gets finished going by. Hopefully it's not as long as most of them usually are because dang, sometimes those trains take forever to get across that intersection. That's some fancy shit going on in there. Damn. I expect to see like zoo animals and shit coming out. There's some pretty nice graffiti on this train. So colorful. I think if you do it right, I don't find it offensive. I mean, those things aren't attractive. Give them a little color. Gonna get held up at the corner after all. Yay! That would have been a bummer because it is hot out here. It is definitely full sun. Mm -mm. Oh, that windmill up there, that's the same windmill that was up to the side of the Creekside Trail. That's cool. I was like basically making my way back to where I was geographically, just on the ground and on a road. Elmer, the training stables. I'm supposed to be going that way. And the training stables are somewhere down here. But at this point, I have a choice. I gotta go get water. But dang, I might come back in here and see what's up over there. Mmm. And there's no shade anywhere. Damn it. Yeah, I might hitch back to the road. <laughs> no bonus miles. I just had a lady pull me over and ask me where I was going. It's like, I never see anyone walk up here. I like, that's my first time. I don't imagine you do. It's hot. It's open and exposed. And it's all pretty much private property up here. Whew. And this ranch is like a half mile off trail. Uphill. Murder. That's cool though. I'm almost there. Water. And hopefully a bathroom. Hmm. And I'm definitely gonna sit down and have something to eat. All right, well, I am so glad this place was here because I had probably less than a quarter cup of water left. Oh my goodness. I definitely, uh, I've been a lot more thirsty today, but that's good. I don't feel nearly as dehydrated. So thanks to everyone at Showcase Stables. Kim that got me here and then Gretchen who owns the place. She's working on a horse right now. I do enjoy ranches. So, and she certainly got amazing views here. At any rate, I ate a little, I drank a little, talked a little. Time to get back at it, see how much further I can get today. Got the pickers out today. Where are the grows? It's a nice day for it. <laughs> what is he doing with that cactus? 
That seems family and friendly. Well, I should have let that hose run a little bit longer before I refilled my bladder because the water tastes really disgusting and almost a little bit like it's got a little finish of mold. Ew. Hopefully, that doesn't make me sick. However, if I can, I'm gonna try to find someplace else to refill it again because when the water tastes bad, you don't drink it. And it's too hot out here and too exposed. Well, except for this like little shady spit right here to uh, not drink any water. I'm already feeling a little bit dehydrated today. Something's weird over there, I'm gonna show you. What is that? It's like a splash mountain giant water feature to take out the houses below. That's so weird. I wonder what that's about. It's quite a joint here. Holy crap. Wow. Quite the compound. Well, I guess it's their own water feature to take out their own house. That's nuts. I should be getting to the cutoff to the Rattlesnake Trail in the Hernst Key Preserve. Start red ones, great. Not a moment too soon because this road definitely sucks. It's either uh, only one side or the other of the road has any kind of shoulder. Some areas have none. Only one side has shade. But I see in front of me a trail sign. Hooray! Get off this crazy road. All right. Well, I'm certainly glad to be done with that. Nonsense. Holy crap. Oh, this is the Hernst Aki Preserve. I think I'm pronouncing it right. I do know that what's handy on the Redlands Conservancy website, they have a page for this preserve and a little uh, um, vocal pronunciation guide, but I, I didn't listen to it until like, I haven't listened to it in a couple of days, so I forgot already, but I'm pretty sure that's how it is. This side of the Rattlesnake Trail, there's not really any significant parking. I mean, you can pull off the side of the road. There's no facilities or any amenities on this end. Um, I'm gonna take the Rattlesnake Trail to get off this road, and also because it is a conservancy trail, until I get to um, the gateway connector to exit to uh, actually go to the other side of Santa Mateo Canyon Road or Live Oak Canyon Road to do the Gateway Ranch loop. At any rate, that's a nice view. So cutting off here to do a couple of uh, zigzags or squiggles of the Rattlesnake Trail. The straight shot is the Prairie Trail. It's uh, pretty much easy, although there were a couple of like sort of steep up and downs just right in a row at the beginning there. I was really glad when I was going up the one there wasn't some bonsai mountain biker coming the other way because that would definitely leave a mark. But uh, the Rattlesnake Trail sort of goes in and out of the little canyon folds. Okay, okay. So this is not a trail for the worm season at all. It's entirely exposed. I guess unless you did it super early in the morning, you know, like at first light, or maybe even in the evening when the hills themselves would provide maybe a little bit of cover at the bottom of the canyon because this basically goes up just one wall of the canyon and then you can see the trail over there it takes you down the other side but yeah it's like uh, the beginning of February <laughs> it's very warm out here but it's really nice pretty beautiful back in here well there was a breeze <laughs> it's fun now it was nice. I saw he's walking. I'm like, no, but that's just animal trail. Look at those crazy bonsai bastards. I think they just tuck and roll, tuck and roll. Well, now I'm in the second little wiggle loop off of the uh, prairie trail. This is still the rattlesnake trail. I don't know why it's called rattlesnake because it wiggles all over the place. But yeah, it's pretty much just a bunch of lazy curving all over this 
canyon. I thought I was actually gonna get to go around that little lump and, and be entirely like, not be able to see the road, but so far, no, we'll see. At any rate, I decided that because it's so entirely exposed out here, I checked the weather bug, it says it's 72 degrees. Maybe, but I doubt it. Definitely feels warmer than that. And even though I've been trying to, I've applied sunscreen three times, I'm still getting burnt. So I don't know why I was thinking what I was thinking. I should have brought my umbrella. I'm definitely gonna bring it out for the rest of this, but I've decided that rather than continuing to uh, impact myself this way, end up sunsick. Not sure about this water either. Suspicious. So once I get to, uh, I'm gonna finish out this rattlesnake trail and then figure out how I can walk trails back to where I'm staying if it's possible or I'll just hit the road because I'm not horribly far. It's basically like on the other side of these hills from uh, Live Oak Canyon, San Mateo Canyon. So I figure once I'm done with this rattlesnake trail, which is like, it goes up here, it comes down there. That's pretty funny. And they, well, at least there's some trees up here. Cause then you look at this, been wiggling around all over here and all it is is grass. So it's perfect for, you know, hiding snakes. Not so good for offering any kind of uh, respite from this sun. There's not a cloud in the sky. So, hmm, definitely did uh, make a mistake by not bringing the umbrella today. Won't happen again. Whee! <laughs> oh, this is kind of like Mr. Toad's Wild Ride. I imagine this is probably pretty fun on a mountain bike. It'd probably be a nice little, you know, mosey, little hiking mosey if it, you know, just wasn't such a brutal sun. Or he carried an umbrella, which I did not. That's so funny. You can see the trail going and coming. Looks like some people just opt to like, nah, it's cool. I see where I'm going. <laughs> no place all that much more interesting than where I'm at. So I think that's Gateway Ranch with the um, train cars on it. Um, I did see a sign that said it was temporarily closed. I don't know if that's correct. So um, I'm gonna have to get in touch with someone at the Conservancy to make sure, because there is a loop trail in there, um, according to the maps. Uh, so, but I don't wanna try and go all the way over there. Because at this point now I'm off, I'm off my route. Because I'm gonna, I'm gonna head back. It's just too hot out here and too exposed. But uh, yeah, I don't wanna walk over there and try and walk around in there tomorrow if there's no access to it. But anyway, look at that view, that's gorgeous. It is a hot day and I'm definitely, you know, burnt, but gorgeous day, beautiful. All right, I decided to do the last little wiggle of the rattlesnake trail before I dip out and hit Oakmont Park. Because it, I don't, it doesn't look to me like you can go into Gateway Ranch. I'm not sure. However, it's its own little thing over there. So frankly, if you can go in there and hike that trail, I can just come back out and do it. I can drive back out here and do it. I think it's only like a half a mile or a mile from where I am here, or like the little loop over there. I'm not sure what it is, but uh, just in case you can't go over there, I wanna go ahead and finish the rattlesnake trail now because this is the last little wiggle left of this trail and I wouldn't, if Gateway Ranch is closed, I wouldn't need to come back over into this area. So, <clears throat> so what do you get for being OCD? All right, so I just got to talk to and meet Jody back there walking with his sweet bulldog. Ah, oh, look, now there's shade. I like the one spot with shade. Like if this was the CDT, there'd be a bunch of cows under there. Anyway, he said that the uh, trail at 
uh, Gateway Ranch is open. So I can come back and do that tomorrow because it's just like too exposed out here. I got to get, maybe he did say that the place I need to bail out, Oakmont Park, is just right there. So woohoo! This lady's out here doing an interpretive dance or something. I got no idea what's happening. Well, darn. I was hoping there would be some uh, trail maps for the Hunt Aki Preserve because there's a whole mishmash of trails in here. There's a map up here. I had it routed on uh, Gaia, but not necessarily the directions because there is a bunch of like back and forth. I mean, this is the one I just did. Well, that's actually, I haven't done that. I did this wiggle, that's the rattlesnake trail. And then the gateway connector is the one that goes to the Saha Tapa Trail, which is a gateway branch, and apparently that is open and available to do. So I'll have to go back and do that tomorrow, or uh, yeah, probably tomorrow, because I still have to do, like this isn't done yet, but this is all trail, that, these are all conservancy trails. So I had to figure out how I'm gonna do that, and I was hoping to have a map so I could just sort of work it while I did it, but I can print one out this evening now, so that's cool, but yeah. This is really nice. There's actually shade here. Oof, could use more of that. At any rate, I'll be dropping into Oakmont Park here soon. And then uh, that'll be the end of today's walking for, in terms of through hiking. Wow, look at all this. Yeah, definitely a lot more signage over here. There wasn't any sign. No signs anywhere where I came in. Oh, they got bike bells here as well. All right, nice bridge. <laughs> Where? Interesting. That's funny. And this is a nice little park. There's little bins and benches and picnic tables everywhere. I think I'd want to set that one. That would be nice. There's a little bench down the trail. It's a cool little park. Okay, well, thus ends the through hiking portion of today. 14.65 miles and 1,300 feet of gain. Woo, about six and a half hours. That's good enough for today. I did come up straight off the couch. Yikes. At any rate, I'm gonna find my way back to a, <laughs> probably a bathtub. Well, getting up out of Oakmont Park was a climb out of a hole. Oh my god. I'm looking at like... I almost wish I could have just sat there and waited until my ride could have come to get me. But, unfortunately, that water is definitely making me sick. So I either need to keep moving, I need to go, I need to find a bathroom, basically. Oh my goodness, I'm miserable. So... Hella bonus miles today, but I guess it beats, <laughs> it beats having to throw away this dress, don't it? This is just like my second day in this dress. I don't want to throw it away yet. Mer. The Live Oak Canyon is back down that away where I was. I think Live Oak, one of those canyons, San Timoteo Canyon, Live Oak Canyon, they're both back there somewhere. I had no idea how hazy it was back there while I was walking in it. But good grief, uh, air quality. Okay, so I'm glad I turned Gaia back on to record this as a second track. So I'm thinking, oh, I'm just doing mad bonus miles. This is dumb. But the fact is, is what I'm walking now is what I was gonna have to walk anyway to get from uh, Oakmont Park to the Teddy Trail to uh, Caroline Park. So, that said, I think I'll figure out a way to avoid doing this twice, because that's just silly. Especially since this road, people go really fast on it. I've actually been passed on this road before. It's crazy. But, um, yeah, I don't think I need to do this walk again. It's like two and a half miles, almost two and a half miles from Oakmont Park to get uh, to Caroline Park, which is where I'm going to get down this hill. So, I 
got some maps and work something so I don't have to do any more back tracking or bonus miles than absolutely necessary. Oh, thank goodness. We're on Caroline Park, where I can uh, cut down off of uh, Sunset down towards where home base is. They have bins here. I'll be back through here again. There are actually a couple of groups in here, but I think all told, the total trail miles in this park are like less than one. I'm not sure. But at any rate, this will knock one of them out and uh, get me to where I need to be just a little bit faster. This is nice. There's a lot of people in the park today. This is not a meadow area. Be able to kind of like hang out and picnic or whatever. Relax. It's really nice out here now. Oh my god, I'm done. Thank goodness. Pretty, pretty please. Let the door be unlocked and the bathroom empty. I am a clear it.